<laughs> to the Caracol Sea, here we come. Hello everybody, this is Double RPG here, and welcome back to another episode of Double RPG Let's Play with Golden Sun on the Game Boy Advance. In today's episode, we're going to resume where we left off, and we are going to go through the Caragol Sea finally, or at least get started with it, by the way. So, yeah, we're going to go here at the Calais docks, and we are going to take the boat. So, let's get on with this episode that's already in progress, and we will start things here. And as you can tell, we made it to the Calais dock, and we see Garrett taking a look at the sea in which he believes is the ocean. He said, but the guy that's over by the uh, ticket office, he says that the o that is not the ocean because the ocean is an endless vast is a vast endless road of water or a vast endless uh, body of water, while a sea is surrounded by land or you know a big open sea is or a sea. Oh, blah, 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 gosh, a sea is surrounded by open land. Even if they're big, they're surrounded by open land. Okay, we get a boat ticket here, and we're going to use that to get access to the boat that's here at the Calais docks. But before we go to the boat, take a look at the other side. Yep, there is a Venus genie on the other side of the Silk Road entrance. But we can't get it from where we're at, so your guess is as good as mine. We're going to have to take the Caragol Sea, or we're going to have to take the boat to go through the sea, and then we're going to have to take a route to get us over to that one side of Silk Road, and we can pick up the Venus Genie for ourselves. And as you can tell, I'm just pretty much using Reveal to see if there's any treasures before we hit the boat, but there are no treasures around, so the boat is ours for the taking. So we're on the Toby Bound ship for now, and we need to talk to the captain, and, uh... And... He... The captain is suspecting that with many passengers that are on the boat, it will be really, it will be really bad to try to protect all of the, all of the passengers because the sea is very, very dangerous. But at least you have people like us to help out. So yeah, we're going to be helping out the captain with protecting the passengers while we head to Tolby. And the captain insists that we should set sail right away. And there is one crewman, he says, if we set sail like this, then we'll never make it to Tolby. But I wonder what he could be talking about. But the captain says that nothing will stop them as long as they have an anchor. They, or the little anchor charm that he has. And we're going to go inside his cabin, and we are going to talk to him to make sure that we get things uh, moving along here. So that way we can go through the Carol Sea. And it looks like that guy has some suspicion. This guy seems suspicious. So, we should uh, read his mind to see what all he is doing. Oh, God. Oh, wait a minute. What did he just do? So, where did he go? He went somewhere, but anyway, let's go ahead and read his mind. At the risk of sounding repetitive, I didn't even do anything. Yeah, well, I like to see a try. And he hid the anchor charm. No one would ever would ever tend to look at the at the top of the mast. But we will look at the top of the mast, and inside that big old barrel that's at the top of the mast is the anchor charm. So we can now go back down, and we will talk to the captain again. But he's going to notice that his charm is missing. Well, he's out here talking to the outside, but let's go ahead and climb up here and just take a look at what's all going on. Yeah, we could take a look at this place for a little bit to see if there's any treasures. And there is a treasure inside that jar right here. And we get ourselves a nut. Like we have too many of those already. So, might as well take another one, right? <laughs> so, how's everybody doing today? Hope you all had a really great weekend. And I pretty much did too. And I have another episode of Bayonetta up on Necessary Gaming if you'd like to check it out. But, uh, it seems to me like the trolls or whatever, the, uh, guys who like to start a bunch of crap on that channel seems to be giving me a lot of hell again because of me saying stuff like, you know, and, uh, well, I don't say, uh, that much, but, you know, saying stuff like, you know, it's just to, you know, keep the flow of, uh, speaking going and, and that kind of stuff. And, yeah, I do tend to sound a bit repetitive and I, and I do apologize for that. I, I try to do my best, but not everybody's going to do their best. Okay, so... Looks like these two... Uh, two muscle men are kind of... 
just uh, impatient that we are not setting sail right away. But uh, what, you know, what could possibly go wrong without us setting sail? Or what could possibly go wrong with them not setting sail? Oh, I don't know. So, yeah. And uh, by the way, I realize I did realize, and I'm sure pretty much most of you already figured this out when I did the Conquer's uh, Bad Fur Day Let's Play, which I'm still doing right now, is that I should be able to get done with that Let's Play very early. A lot more earlier than this. So, yeah, that was kind of a big surprise to try to undertake that Let's Play when I'm going through this Let's Play since we already passed the halfway mark. So, yeah, it's quite... quite the uh, long journey that is ahead of us with this game. And we come over here, and we're going to talk to the captain again, but... And it looks like the crewmen are kind of getting... Uh, kind of getting ticked, and... The passengers are getting pretty ticked off that they can't even... That they won't even launch the ship, so... Like I said, why can't, why can't they take it off? Or why can't they take the boat off? But they said that uh, now is the perfect time to run the ship since they've already made their made up their minds. So anyway, something seems kind of weird. Dangerous sea? Is that what you said? It's dangerous out there. Is that why you wouldn't launch the ship? Yeah, I did. The sea is dangerous now. There are monsters. Well, if there are monsters, then you are gonna need some warriors to help you out. And I wonder what type of warriors would be fit for the job. Probably us, since we are the only warriors abound on this ship, while everybody else is a passenger that's going to take a trip over to Toby because they want to see the Colosso. And one of the guy, or the Arenos, or whatever his name is, he says that you need warriors to help out to fight against the monsters. And it looks like him and his partner ought to help out. Uh, if we're going to make it to the Colosso, if we're late, then we can't enter. And so he's going to ask his partner, Sean, to help out as well. So, it looks like there are times when people need to help each other out, which is always a good thing. And if you guys help out around the deck, then the ship should be okay. But, but we need somebody to protect the oarsmen. And you guys need some warriors. And does uh, Sean have some... Does Sean have an idea? And who are the warriors that appear below deck? And if they're from Ang Angara, then they will. I think he's referring to us, since we are listening to the conversation. But the captain looks up and sees that the anchor charm has vanished. Oh, no. And the, without the good luck charm, then we can't even set sail. <laughs> and the captain got all pissed and saying, What do you mean, oh, that? And that anchor's been in the ship for many years. It's not just decoration. Oh, and now they're now they're not going to leave because the anchor's not even in here. But that's okay. We have the anchor for ourselves, and that's why we're going to give it to the captain. <laughs> and it's not just a decoration. It's a good luck charm. And as the captain said, that good luck charm is what will help protect the ship. And maybe we shouldn't have taken it. <laughs> now he's getting really suspicious of us more. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk to the captain. And let's give him the good luck charm. Or the anchor charm, that is. Okay, let's give it to him right now. Hey, it's my lucky anchor! Did you find that charm for us? Oh, yes we did! It was atop of the mass of all places? Of course! Because some lowlife decided to hide it! And who, who in their mind would ever decide to hide something like that? The Caracal Sea is thick with monsters, and they still need warriors to protect the oarsmen. And they need to protect the deck. And we need someone to protect the oarsmen, as he says? Someone to help? Who? Those warriors, that's who. He's referring to us, of course. They may look young, but each of them is forced to be re is a force to be reckoned with. Sure. We will definitely protect the oarsmen. Besides, we are good warriors, and it is our job to make sure that everybody is safe and sound. And with the oar, as the captain says, we can finally set sail, and there's one thing just left to do. 
I need some volunteers to help with the rowing, just in case. Yeah, then there's not enough crew, man. There's, you know, if somebody is taken down, then at least somebody's got to help. You know, if the, if the passengers are going to help, then the other passengers are going to have to do their part, too. So, everybody is accounted for. And we're accounted for, even though we're not a part of the uh, tourist group. And yeah, as I was saying, the guy, you know, the people who are going to visit Necessary Gaming, which I do the work for, and since I am bound to become a partner, it's just that the viewers there are just, they, uh, I don't know how to say this, but, you know, uh, and I was expecting this too, but some of them are just completely asinine and they're just too ignorant of, you know, learning about what, the stuff that I do in the videos. And I s tell them that I try to come up with really good commentary. And, but I was explaining to him what the difference between a Let's Play and, you know, just a regular gameplay commentary was all about. But evidently, they said to, they were just uh, being mean, and they said, uh, well, that was kind of boring. Maybe you should try to come up with interesting topics next time. And I was like, okay, well, you didn't even get the gist of what I was talking about, you moron. Well, I didn't say it like that, but I just told him that he didn't get, that I, that he didn't get the gist of what I was talking about. So, um... So, he, uh, well, if it is a he, or it could be a she, but you never know. But yeah, people like that, I could tend to, uh, you know, I could just tend to ignore those people. And, you know, for the first time in quite a while, since I am, uh, doing, well, since I'm doing a Let's Play of an RPG right now, and since we're talking about RPGs, and since I talked about Chrono Cross last week, I have been getting back and back on track to playing Chrono Trigger on my DS. And I gotta say, I'm still, I'm still amazed at, you know, how well that game has aged. Even for a DS port of that game, it's aged, I mean, the whole game itself, it really ages well. I'm not kidding. It's one of the few games out there, you know, the few RPGs that I know, that I know, that knows how to age well. And this game is another particular case, but we'll just have to wait down the road to see how long it will age really well before lots of people tend to forget about it. But I think it's one that people are not going to forget about when they learn of how great this game is. And especially if it manages to come out on the 3DS Virtual Console. Because that would be great to see this game on the 3DS Virtual Console. So that way, you know, more people can actually get an experience. You know, actually can, well, get an experience. But more so, rather get a better understanding of how well made these games were. Okay, we're gonna row the oars now, so we're off of the Calais docks, and we are gonna take our trip through the Caragol Sea, and to make it to Toby. So yes, our trip is only getting started, gamers. So anyway, since we have started our journey, I think this is probably a good spot to where we can go ahead and we can wrap up things here. So anyway, next time on Double RPG Let's Play with Golden Sun on the Game Boy Advance, we're gonna resume where we left off, and we are gonna go through the Caracol Sea in full, and to make sure that everybody is protected, and we're probably gonna be fighting some monsters along the way, which is most likely. But yes, we will go through the Caracol Sea in whole. But anyway, if you have not done so already, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter with the links in the description, and if you like what you saw, then be sure to rate this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave comments below to let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Anyway, gamers, take care of yourselves, and I shall see you on the next episode. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys then.